Hello, this is the Moat, and welcome back to a Moat and Mind Squish. This is episode six, and today we're going to go gather some obsidian and head into the Nether in the hopes of getting some blaze rods and some endwort to get our potion brewing going. And we'll do a few other things while we're at it here. First things first. At the end of the last episode, I had just found some diamonds just right down there, and you'll notice here, just hit F3, you'll see that I'm at Y6, and uh, diamonds appear between level 6 and 16. I found some right down there at level 9. Uh, one Wolfen left a comment. By the way, thank you for watching the video, One Wolfen, and I appreciate the comment. And that he prefers to mine up here uh, with his feet at Y11, actually one block down, so right here. And uh, then when he mines there, lava appears at his feet rather than showing up at head level. And he's 100% right. So the, the best way to go mining for diamonds is the safest way, excuse me, is to go ahead and be at Y11 and then go ahead and dig your tunnels. Now, since diamonds show up from uh, Y6 to 16, if you're at Y11, if you dig up five, then you're, you're hitting the maximum height, the top of that spot right there is at Y16, and will give you your best shot of finding diamonds. Now, I'm so diamond unlucky, traditionally. Uh, I went ahead and decided to try and just sort of prove it. I, I started way down there just so that I had the best option. I had as many blocks as I could to, to try to find diamonds. Well, after his comment, I came up here and I mined all the way down there. That's over 80 blocks down that direction and five blocks high. Didn't find a single diamond. Came all the way back this way uh, at a slightly lower level. Um, and again, another 80 blocks. Not a single diamond, and I was going to call it a night. And then I decided I'd try one more time. So there's another tunnel. And here, most of this tunnel, let's just see here, is that Y11? Eh, down to Y10. Uh, and again, another 80 blocks, including some side blocks for when I found some coal and whatnot. And not a single diamond to be found. I did find some emeralds, so that was good. But as I was just about to call it quits and, and declare that I'm truly unlucky finding diamonds, I heard a zombie up over in this direction and decided to go find the cavern and or hopefully dungeon. And instead I found right down in here where the cobblestone is. As I broke through here, there was a zombie waiting to kill me and a set of diamonds right in there. So I found a few more diamonds. When I went through this cavern, there was another diamond right over there. So at the end of the day, I actually had found quite a few diamonds. So that's one of the things I've been doing recently. Uh, so I have a fair number of emeralds. I have some diamonds. I went ahead and explored that cavern out there. Uh, and uh, so all that was a, a pretty good experience. I think we've got, yeah, we've got some iron cooking up here. So I'm going to go just put that away real quick. Oops. Now the other thing I did is I went to go and record this episode. But uh, I blew it in that I record audio, the voice, separately from the video. And I started the audio recording, the voice recording, but I didn't start the video recording. So after going down to the nether and exploring and collecting a fair amount of stuff, I realized I hadn't recorded a single thing. So we're going to go and repeat that process today, uh, that episode. Uh, but hopefully it actually all works out because now I sort of know where I'm going to go in the nether and I'm not going to be a lot of wandering around. I have to edit out. Uh, so hopefully we make this a little bit better, and with any luck I won't die, it'll still be a, a good experience. Alright, now, the thing we're going to do first is, you notice we've got 24 levels of experience down there. We're going to see if we can enchant this pickaxe real quick while we're at it. And, just in case, we'll just one again. We'll take some of this iron, some of this lapis, and we're going to head out to help to, there we go to get, uh, see if we can enchant this pickaxe. Uh, efficiency would be great. Anything better than that would be even nicer, frankly. So let's see what we can get. Oh, efficiency too. I think that's a, a pretty good bet. So we'll go ahead and take that. Oh, just efficiency too, that's still, that's still pretty good. I've also created this diamond sword. I got a sharpness one on it from, from earlier. I have my two pickaxes that I used earlier. And, um, so I think that's better. Let's take a quick look here. Um, kind of hoping for an infinity on that, but I don't have enough levels. So we're not going to find that. 
but I will take the opportunity to come over here and use this one today. And I'm going to go ahead and repair this pickaxe so that I know it's all ready to go. So I can put it in here. Um, you notice I named this guy Picker Jr. So I'm going to actually rename this one. I can do that by just changing the name here. It's going to cost me, uh, we'll call it Picker Senior. Uh, it cost me four points just to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and repair it for a cost of six. Now we're all set and ready to go. Excellent. Uh, still have nine levels. So just, hmm, do we want to enchant anything else? The question. Uh, see if we can get anything on this. Hmm, I don't think we'll do that right now. What else do we have around here? That's about it. Well, let's just see if we can get anything interesting on our iron sword. We'll be using the diamond mostly, but that's right. Now, oh, Bane of Arthropods. Hmm. For the nether, that's not going to be a big help. So I think we'll hold on to that and maybe we'll do that on the next one. We'll just keep our levels right here. So I think that's those pieces. We're going to head back to... Oops! Not help, but we'll head back home. There we go. And... Um, let's see... We'll go ahead and put some of these things away, and then we'll head on out. We're going to go get our obsidian. We'll make some obsidian and harvest that. And we'll make our own portal and head out to the nether. We're going to need a, that um, bucket of water to create the obsidian. We'll get rid of these so that I don't, if I lose them down there, out there in the nether, it won't be such an issue. Uh, I'm starting to try to get a little organized. And, We'll put tools in one place and whatnot. Um, oh, there is one other thing I want to show you before we head out. Uh, what else do I need here? I have, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I have plenty of food. I think we're pretty set. Probably have too many pickaxes, quite honestly. So uh, let's go ahead and leave one of these guys here. We've got, and we'll probably end up leaving the diamond one here. Let's see what happens. Um, I think we've got. Try to collection of everything else. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you, let me go back up to home, is that um, we've got a neighbor. Look at that. So we've got a windmill out here across. It looks like this is, looks like the work of, of Maestro Calistro or uh, maybe Chip Rock, one of those guys. So we've got this beautiful tower right across the way. I did go over and I didn't go inside there, but I went over and I picked up some of the snow. You'll see that right here. Uh, in case we run across any blazes, we'll give. I've always wanted to try throwing a snowball at a blaze, so we'll take it and we'll see if it does anything at all. I think that's the details there. Um, I've been collecting some of the things around here, like some of the sugar cane and whatnot for paper, but nothing too interesting. So mostly I've been doing some mining, that's the major thing, and then I went out into the nether to gather a few things, and we'll go back out there now. So first, let's head down here again, and let's go make our obsidian. Um, we'll go up this way. Got to put some stairs there. So this is that cavern where the zombie was and I found the diamonds over there. And there's a pool of lava down there. So that's one place, but I found a better one over here. Look at that. All right, to make obsidian, all you need to do is to have flowing water flow over standing lava. So if I just do, if I put it out in there, it's not going to work quite the way I want to. So I'm going to pour it right here, let it go as far as it wants to, pick it back up. And because I have a bad tendency to walk off the edge of, of this, I'm going to go ahead and fill this section. And I hear both a skeleton and a, an enderman. So I'm going to do a little bit more here. So we've got quite a pool of lava in here. Let's, um, let's get a little bit more. So that in the future, we can go explore that cave. All right, and we're back. I apologize, just had to take care of some server business. Um, I am a, have the honor and privilege to be a staff member and we needed to take care of that. 
uh, an issue that was kind of had come up with one of the players. So I apologize for stepping away. We'll just go ahead and finish making a nice platform out here. Let's go ahead and Oh, hey, I am not having any problem finding emeralds, that's for certain. I'll take that one while we're at it. I hear you around here someplace, Skeleton. I know you're just waiting to knock me into the lava. So we're going to go ahead back over. Since we've got tons of lava around here, and this is Exploration World will go away at some point here. Let's go ahead and just catch, and just make a whole nice big platform of obsidian. All right. Now, in fact, oh, just can't resist. Let's go ahead and get that. I shouldn't dig straight up. I know. Oh, uh, just so. Oh, even gold there. Look at that. That'll be a nice place to come back into. Now, the other thing it would be nice to go and block that up, but we're just gonna make it so I don't fall in there. Because I do have a tendency to jump into lava for some strange reason. I remember early on when my first I didn't bring any more than that. Huh. Uh, one of my first trips down here. Um, sorry, one of the first trips down to, to digging in lava and whatnot, digging around lava. I had just found some diamonds. I had a great collection of stuff. And I uh, thought, well, I'll just grab one more thing. Of course, it was right near some lava. Along came a skeleton, and next thing I knew, I was swimming in lava and lost all my stuff. I had forgotten. I was new enough that I did not think about using the slash home command to get back home before I died, so I lost all my stuff. We're going to have some good mining when we come back down here at some point. But we're here right now for obsidian. Now, this is how I do it. I, I picked this up. To be honest with you, I can't remember exactly where I heard it, who I heard it from. But somebody told me about this way of doing it, and uh, it's worked real well for me. So I'll show you how I do it. We need 10 blocks. Clear this out a little bit. And uh, the way this starts is that... Just make sure we've got some nice light for the video here. Oh, what the heck. Is you just pick a block, and, and we're going to lose this first block. That's okay. We'll go ahead and get the first block out. Make sure you're not standing on it, obviously. Let's see, I lost that. There's more lava down below. I'm going to put the water in. I notice I put it against the side of the existing obsidian. If you don't want to aim down into the, the lava, you will on occasion lose the, the bucket of uh, water while you're adding up to get another. So now what I can do is I can take out right next to the water any of the four blocks directly next to it. This one, that one, this one right here. And uh, the water will come over, make turn the, the lava underneath it into obsidian and it'll actually save the obsidian that we have. So we can go ahead and keep doing this. And once you come out that direction, you, ac you can actually take out any of the side blocks as well. As long as the water flow will spread that way, so like now I can take out this one without a problem, the water will flow that way, uh, you're all set. What you don't want to do is, let's see, so we're down here if I take out this block, the water can't get there, obviously, so it's going to just drop and I'll lose it. So you don't want to do that, and you certainly don't want to dig directly below you. But if I take this block out first, then the water can flow over there, and it'll actually turn, take both of them out for me. So, all right, let's go ahead and just, I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of this. We need 10 blocks, and then we'll go ahead and build our nether portal and head down into the nether. So I'll fast forward through the rest of us here in just a minute. Just caught those, wow. Alright, so we're all set. We've got our 10 pieces of obsidian. 
want you to notice uh, you, you can double check I just went ahead and picked up the water so now it's a nice safe pit to walk around anyway and I forgot to mention that you do in order to get the obsidian up you really do need a diamond pickaxe uh, I think you can do it with a, an iron one but it's going to take you a whole long time and, and I don't think you get more than a block or two with an iron one if you can even get it I can't remember but it takes minutes literally minutes uh, I went ahead and enchanted this with efficiency too and it makes it a lot faster so we'll um, we'll uh, come back and get that later oh so tempted all right but now that we have this let's go back and make our uh, nether portal and head out into the nether now I've actually carved out this room got a door this is from the last video got a little space for the, the portal Just two blocks along the bottom three up each side and two at the top now you could put pieces in the corners you don't have to you just leave them blank you don't have to embed it in the wall or anything else like that but we're gonna go ahead and do that uh, it's just sort of quick and easy I'm gonna go ahead and start this thing up you just use a flint and steel light it and there we go we have our nether portal now I'm gonna head back I'm gonna drop off a few things that I don't want to take into the nether with me in case I drop them um, don't want to lose them and we will make sure we're only taking the stuff we need with us uh, where was it let's see really won't need that um, let me turn those stone those those blocks over we're gonna want to put that up that's keep keep these two and those two all right I've well, we got ten arrows I don't have any um, feathers to make more arrows so that's too bad Let's see, let's put these down here we'll probably want to take some more cobblestone I don't seem to have a whole lot oh, here we go let's take a stack with us we'll take um, can't hurt to take a stack of the gravel as well I'll organize that later and oh, what, that's what I want to go. so you can see I've got 15 emeralds so I've had quite a bit of luck with the emeralds and I've actually have 16 diamonds including two more here and three more in the pick that we just put away so I found over 20 diamonds already so my, maybe my diamond luck is finally changing fair amount of lapis I've had I've got a fair amount of coal going and of course you've seen the obsidian I mined from the last time I got extra because we'll need it for um, ender chests and things like that so all right so now we've got all this stuff um, we have just what we need let's go ahead and head into the nether go ahead and switch in let's get our better sort up I think we're good to go all right now you can get to the nether number of places and depending upon where you're starting from is where you'll end up now because of the last when I tried to record it the first time I know where this is going to go this actually takes me to another player's portal down there in the nether which just happens to have similar coordinates to what this one does uh, if you're the first one to the nether your portal will be the only one there but you'll notice we'll show up in somebody's house so let's go ahead and jump in and do that get our sword ready just in case and there we are welcome to the nether obviously somebody has a nice little base going here we'll see who it is in just a moment gas are waiting for us but we're actually pretty safe down here you can just hear them so wolf hunter and, and uh, creepers nether lab thank you for letting me pop in through there looks like they've got a nice nether wart farm going now we're going to be looking for that and some blaze rods i happen to know where to go to get that so we're going to head out that direction. A reminder, when you find nether wart, you need to replant it where it is in the, in the nether fortress. Oh, uh, I thought I couldn't. I thought you were... Go ahead, try. All right. Uh, so I'm going to go head out to that direction. We'll make it safe. I'm trying to decide whether I want to try to fight that guest. He's out over the lava, I think, so I don't think I want to take him on. We'll... Just head out over here because this is the direction I want to go is out that way so let's just do that I harvested some of these mushrooms last time so we can get some mushroom stew we've got some of that in back of the house so I'm not going to pick them up this time we're going to make this kind of a quick path 
Obviously glowstone down here, little tons of lava. You can get quartz right over there. Uh, all this, you, the netherrack you can burn to turn into the netherrack bricks, which is a nice building block. But we're going to head up this direction. Just go ahead and make sure I'm ready for everything out here. Now, I carved this path out last time and sort of protected it. Make sure there's no gas out here. And of course, if you've not been to the nether before, you want to be careful of the zombie pigmen. You don't want to go startle them. And uh, certainly never want to hit them. They're perfectly safe unless you hit them. If you hit them, then everybody, everyone in a, a certain range will come and get you. Now let's see if there's any gas waiting for us up here. Not right now. We can go up and get some of that glowstone if we want. I've got some already, so I'm not going to go mine that. My goal here is this nether fortress. So we're going to head up in there looking for blazes and ender, uh, nether warts. Excuse me. Now again, I came up here before, so I know where I'm going. But when I first came up here, I couldn't figure out quite what to do, so I just carved a path trying to get into the fortress. And here we are. <laughs> yeah, hope you're having fun up there, buddy. All right, good thing I didn't hit him, though. All right. I'm going to call the video here, guys. We'll finish the tour of the Nether here in the next episode. We're running a little bit long. So, in Episode 7, we'll catch up and see what the Nether holds for us and see whether I survive. As always, comments, family-friendly and constructive, are always appreciated. Otherwise... Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you on the flip side.